Well, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the new member of the KRS family, the Raj family. His name is Brad, and he is a golden retriever like Yash. I know you guys don't get to see Yash because of the way my camera is set up. He's actually right here. He, he loves Brad. Yes, his name is Brad. We got him yesterday. He's a golden retriever puppy. Mm -hmm. I can't stop loving him. And I know I'm gonna get so many views and likes because of him. So yes, you better like this video because I have a puppy. I have an all American puppy here named Brad, who's a golden retriever. He's a purebred golden retriever. We got him this uh, Sunday, coming back from our business trip. And it was a, I was, for a whole month I was excited because I actually officially got him a month ago, but from the breeder, they would not, you know, give you the puppy till they're eight weeks. So this is his eight week and one day, and he's already daddy's boy. He and Yash sleep exactly the same way. And it is just amazing. He's exactly like Yash. Exactly like Yash. So yes, say hello to Brad. So ladies and gentlemen, now that you have enough of my new puppy Brad, which you might see him um, a lot now. Um, today we're going to be discussing the video that, you know, I should have made on Friday, but I didn't because I had to leave. And then I'm like, you know what, let me just make something special for the weekend. So today we're going to be doing Sun in the fifth house for Gemini ascendant people. And what happens when Sun is in the fifth house for a Gemini ascendant person? Okay. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. But also, if you do not know where your Sun is placed, what uh, sign it's in, what degrees it's at, what nakshatra it's in, you know, what house it's in, all of these things, all your other planetary placements, all the other planetary. Details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects of the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link. So, <clears throat> Sun in the fifth house for Gemini Sun and people. So, what happens with Sun, it's debilitated in the fifth house. For a Gemini Sun and people, it is debilitated because Sun is debilitated in the sign of Libra, but especially between eight to 12 degrees. It's really debilitated at 10 degrees. According to our ancient saints and rishis, sun is debilitated at 10 degrees and it's exalted at 10 degrees in the sign of Aries. So for Gemini sun person, the fifth house is ruled by the sign of Libra. So when sun comes in here, it loses its power, but that's actually a lot different now with new age. If we were living in 1940s, if we were living any time before, let's say even the 1980s, this sun, debilitated sun, would, you know, not give you the results that it will in this time period. In this time period, you may actually enjoy a debilitated sun in the fifth house. And I'll tell you why. First of all, Gemini is a very communicated ascendant. They love communication. They love sales, marketing, PR, writing. For them, communication is the key to their soul. If you ever run into a Gemini ascendant and you know they're a Gemini ascendant, talk to them about everything. Talk to them about themselves. The more you talk to Gemini ascendant about themselves, the more they will open up to you. Why? Because their third house is ruled by the sign of Leo. Ruled by sun. Third house not only represents our siblings, our creative self-expression, our skills of hands, media, journalism, but it represents in a way our ego. What we think who we are. Like your true ego is ninth house. The way your ego needs to be is the ninth house. In the third house, it says, no, this is something that you decide. Third house is about, this is who I am, this is what I want to be, and this is what makes me. My Bentley, my Ferrari makes me. While the ninth house, your true ego, is saying no. 
The more you give away your material wealth is you. The more you lean towards the spiritual knowledge is you. So there's a this this yin yang conflict between the ninth and third house. So for Gemini ascendant person, Sun rules the third house of not just ego, but also of creative self-expression, journalism, writing, communication, siblings, younger siblings, neighbors, cousins. Any kind of skills that you attain with your hands in this life is seen from the third house. So now the third Lord, Sun, is in the fifth house. Why? What, what happens here? It's actually the same position. Fifth house is exactly like the third house. Why? Because it's Bhavat Bhavan from the third house, meaning third from the third is the fifth meaning it's becoming a stronger version of the third house so fifth house represents writing script writing cinema performing arts creativity children creative self-expression romance love education higher of the third house so when third lord goes into the fifth house shows one will attain creative okay quote unquote creative skills of hands they will attend skills of writing, drawing, painting, sculpting, sewing. But sun being in the sign of Libra clearly shows that this person, their soul, their ego wants to express itself through creativity. When they do something creative where people were like, wow, visually I am mesmerized by your presentation i love that let me pay you for it give me let me give you a very very strong example bill gates bill gates according to uh, astro data bank he's a gemini ascendant some may say he's a cancer ascendant but most likely the gemini ascendant fits him well especially what he has done career wise his son is in the fifth thousand libra as the third lord and it's conjunct Venus and Saturn. So it, it, it will manipulate some of the results. But Sun in the fifth house, what it does, he presented us a software called Windows 95. The first version of Windows. Windows, actually it was Windows 3.1, but Windows 95 is what got him famous. It was stunning visually. I remember when we got a computer in our house. Our family computer back in 1994 or 5 with Windows 95. I mean, we were like, my God, this is just amazing. Look at the visual introduction. Look at the start button. Look at everything. Why, why, Bill Gates used his creative skills with his programming skills to create Windows. This is why Windows are always on top. Like if you, if you compare it to Linux or Apple, I mean, I still use Windows. I tried using Apple, I couldn't. The simplicity of um, Windows cannot be compared with any other software. So the creativity comes into play. What also happens with this son, a person will have a delay in having children. Especially if your son is between 8 to 12 degrees, you will have children after the age of 32. 28 and 32 or 28 to 36, you will have children. Why? Because first of all, son, wherever it sits, it burns the significance of that house. Because sun, in a way, is a mild malefic planet. It's a really hot planet. I mean, if you were, okay, do you know? If you were just, I remember this article, if you were just even 10 million miles away from the sun, you will be burned. 10 million miles. The sun is 93 million miles, 93.21. And if you're 10 million miles away, you will feel the heat, you will get burned. So wherever it sits, it burns that house. Fifth house represents education, children. Bill Gates, he's a Gemini ascendant. He left 
his college education, fifth house's college edu education. He left it. He left it in the middle. He's like, I can do far better than just getting a Harvard graduation or Harvard degree. Then he also had children when he was like 28, 30. I think he had it at um, 32, his first child. So it delays these things. But obviously, if you, your son is never in just Libra, you got to remember that. Son is going to be in Libra, in a certain nakshatra, in a certain padha. It may get an aspect of certain planet. It may be conjunct some planet. So what I'm telling you here is probably 50% of the whole game. The other 50% is seen from these other things. And sun, as you know, is a very sattvic planet. It's a very pure planet. It created life. Libra is a rajasic sign. Meaning a sign of comfort, desire. Here, your soul desires material comfort through creative self-expression. Like you want to be the person who writes the best American novel and you get the residual income for the rest of your life from this one novel. Like Bill Gates, guess what? 3.2 million a minute. He doesn't have to do anything and he will always be making throughout his life. Even if Microsoft goes out of business, he will still make money. So that's what happens with this Sathvik planet coming into a Rajasic sign. It wants to give you comfort, but comfort through creative self-expression. Like these are the people you will see most of the time always wanting to go towards performing arts, acting, cinema. And your ego develops through creativity. The more you do art and drawing and performing arts, the more you feel comfortable with yourself. So that's what Sun does for Gemini Ascendant as a third lord. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of starting the fifth house for Gemini Ascendant person. If you're new in my channel, subscribe below. And again, if you want to know where your sun is placed, all your other planetary placements, all the other details for that, check out the links here. Check out my astrological report, my books, and my consultations. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with our conjunctions. Bye-bye.